Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are going to do my 10th and final bracket. Uh, I thought you could do 13 brackets, but it looks like you can only do 10. So this is going to be it. I plan on doing a couple more brackets today, but um, I am not going to be allowed to because it cuts off at 10. So here we go, final bracket. Uh, this is the final submit. Um, and let, let's get into this. Alright, so... We got Kansas moving all the way to the Elite Eight. I'm going to be using my strategy here. Moving Villanova all the way to the Elite Eight. I've moved off of Wichita State onto Miami. But I will have Wichita State still beating Arizona. Maryland moving to the Sweet 16. And UConn moving on. So in the round of 32, we've got a matchup of Kansas, UConn, Maryland, Hawaii, Wichita State, Miami, and Villanova Temple. Uh, moving on to the Sweet 16, we've got Kansas, Maryland, and Miami, Villanova. And in the Elite Eight, we have Kansas, Villanova. All right, moving on to the East bracket. I'm going to take North Carolina on out to the Elite Eight, as well as sticking with my West Virginia pick to make it there. Moving Xavier on out to the Sweet 16, as well as I'm back on Indiana, moving them out to the Sweet 16. So you got Providence, Kentucky. Michigan and Pitt so that sets up North Carolina Providence Indiana Kentucky West Virginia Michigan and Pittsburgh Xavier in the round of 32 moving on to the sweet 16 we've got North Carolina Indiana and West Virginia Xavier the uh, lead eight matchup being North Carolina and West Virginia moving on down to the bottom section here the Midwest bracket we've got uh, Michigan State moving on out to the elite eight to face off against Iowa State. Still not really confident about this Iowa State pick, but we're rolling with it. Uh, they'll probably get beat by Iona today, and that would just that would just be great. Let's screw up my bracket real nice and early. Uh, move Seton Hall on out, uh, Texas Tech, and then Virginia all the way out. I'm gonna go with Fresno State. I've heard some things I liked about Fresno State, did a little bit of research, and since I have Seton Hall moving on out, we are going to roll with uh, Fresno State in this matchup. Uh, so we've got uh, Virginia, Texas Tech, Purdue, Iowa State, Seton Hall, Fresno State, and Syracuse and Michigan State in the uh, round of 32. On to the uh, Sweet 16, we've got Virginia playing Iowa State and Seton Hall playing Michigan State. And then in the Elite Eight, we've got Iowa State matching up with Michigan State. Moving on to the final bracket, the West Bracket. Oklahoma and Oregon going to get moved on out to the uh, to the Elite Eight to face off against each other. Um, I still, I, I need to think about that. We got Northern Iowa moving on out and Green Bay beating Texas A&M. Oregon State over VCU. St. Joe's over Cincinnati. And now here we go. The troubling part of this. What am I going to pick? Am I rolling Duke to the Sweet 16? Or am I rolling Baylor? Or am I... Okay, you know what? We're going Duke. Duke out to the Sweet 16, and I'm having Yale pull the upset on Baylor. So in the round of 32, we've got Oregon St. Joe's, Yale Duke, Northern Iowa Green Bay, Oregon State Oklahoma, Oregon Duke in the Sweet 16 along with Northern Iowa, Oklahoma. And for the Elite Eight, Oregon versus Oklahoma. So to recap the Elite Eight that we have, it'll be Villanova, Kansas, uh, North Carolina, West Virginia, uh, Michigan State, Iowa State, and Oregon, Oklahoma. Moving Oklahoma on over Oregon and Michigan State on over Iowa State. And then to match them up in the Final Four, we've got Villanova and North Carolina. And in the national championship, it will be Oklahoma versus North Carolina. And North and Oklahoma will be winning it in my final bracket by a score of 7-7 uh, to, to, what are we going with, 70, 75. 77-75 Oklahoma over North Carolina in the national championship. Uh, went away from Kansas, uh, thought about Oregon, also thought about Villanova, but I'm going to roll with that, and we've got an alarm. Why is my alarm interrupting my video at 9 o'clock in the morning? The alarm is supposed to go off at like, 
like 7.30, not 9. Oh, well. Okay, but um, that is going to do it. Sorry for the interruption in the video. Uh, but this is a look at my final bracket. Uh, I know some of you will hate on it, so go ahead. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't actually think I'm even going to get a... Uh, I don't even think I'm going to have a bracket entered into, like, a real money this year. Um, I just much preferred this year, I think, to just bet on the games opposed to opposed to uh, entering a money bracket. But we'll see. I still got a few hours to see um, if I want to enter a couple, uh, whether at work or whatnot, or, or more if I'll just hold out. Um, I, I do have, like, a couple brackets entered into... In the really low, I guess I do have some entered in the low money ones, like a five dollar entry or like a ten dollar entry. I was talking like in years past, I've done like a like a fifty dollar entry one and stuff like that. But we'll have to wait and see. But that is gonna do it for this uh, bracket video, guys. I guess I will. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, probably do videos after maybe each round. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a video after each round or after each day. Uh, but I will uh, decide that, and I will catch you all in the uh, in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you like my bracket or if you hate it. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Just let me know. And I'm kind of interested, and I'll catch you guys in my next episode. Peace out.